Hello there, Quicksilver Slash, and today I have a game for you in my Belfast, the premium tier 7 British cruiser. I'm playing alongside Armored Chimera, and if you take a look at the other team, we've come up against Flying Goomba and Savea, two of my buddies who I normally division with. So this is kind of turning into a bit of a showdown, and uh, it's going to be an interesting one. I can definitely tell you Armored Chimera and myself are eager to kind of come away with the win, and Goomba and Savea are just as much looking for the win. So right off the bat, kind of going to the place I typically like to go when I spawn on the south side over near A, and that's this island in here right near the edge of the cap. And the main reason for this and why in any cruiser this is where I advance to and then slow down and wait for other people is it gives you good cover both from A and over from the center. It puts you in range of the cap so you can actually do damage if anything drives in there and you're right there to get in if no one shows up. One of the things I've been asked for is to kind of explain why I go somewhere at the start of games and where I decide to make my stand. So pretty obvious now that I've explained it why I went there and in a ship like this even more so uh, because I've got the smoke so I'm able to just extend past the edge of land pop my radar, and just start going to work on this enemy Fabuki. And you'll notice already I'm starting to back up because there was a destroyer, I'm in smoke, there's probably torpedoes coming my way. I get a good hit, light a fire on that Fabuki, and they're gonna tick down. So even if these didn't hit, I think I had to kill. And at this point, I'm still sort of waiting. I've got Hydroacoustic Search up, but I don't want to overcommit. I've got clear shots, or at least partially clear shots, that enemy Fuso shooting over the edge land, as does Armored Chimera. And it's a lot of battleships and heavy hitters. I'm right near an ally, so I know we're going to be good. He can pop his smoke as mine starts to run up. So we're in a pretty safe position here to kind of just sit. And that may not be the most exciting thing, but in this situation, it's kind of the best move for us. Now obviously I'm not going to stay here forever, but as long as I've got shots at something, I'm comfortable making this my home. And you can see I edge, well, I start edging forward here at one point, just to get into the cap, to help capture it, and get that assistance point. And I've decided too that I'm not staying there. Only the Graf Bay is pushed in so far. Granted, the Konigsberg is right behind it, but I kind of want to push the point. Because when I look at the other side of the map, I know that's where uh, Flying Goomba and Savea are. They're competent players, and their team has numbers over there. So if I'm to make any advantage of our numbers on this side, it has to be done quickly. Hence, me pushing out into this crash bay. And those are one of the things you have to do when you're looking at the map. If you see your side has superior numbers, and we did, they at the time had four ships, we had well, four, five, six, kind of seven, and they've got, you know, about a mirror. We've got four over there, and they've got six. So, because of that, I do not want to stay and try to tempt things. I finally swap over to AP, the Belfast being unique in that you're not forced to use it. When you do, make sure you're using it right. Two Citadels into that Konigsberg, and then I take a big hit from the Fuso. Fortunately, my next smoke is ready. Make sure I'm under 15 knots being the key speed so that you don't drive out of the smoke. Full astern, and start to go to work on this Fuso. Now it's places like this, I do wish I had the torpedoes on the Fiji, but at the same time, having the HE to uh, just work on the side of this battleship is very nice. So with the Fuso dead, I'm kind of looking, I want to see what the Konigsberg's doing, but at the same time, that New Mexico's got to be finished. 
you can see someone from the enemy team, most likely one of their destroyers, has taken our starting cap, they've pushed into D, and while they haven't killed any of our team over there, they've kind of pushed them out of effectiveness. So we've got to get rid of this New Mexico who is all alone and being focused down by all of us and start getting into capture points. So I swing around, get all my guns firing. My smoke is still good for about 30 seconds. I don't want to put that to waste. But I also don't really intend to sit here for too long. So I never really completely stop. And then I kind of change my mind and decide I'm going to back up. I'm going to keep my arcs. Originally I had been thinking about going outside the island, not slowing down, and getting him. And then seeing the health, I didn't want to get caught out over here because it would just be more distance to cover to get to a cap. So I killed my speed, put it into reverse. I cleared the way for Armored Chimera to turn. And once I think I have enough room, back to full steam ahead and I've got the rudder over. And... Things aren't looking spectacular for us. We're 150 so points ahead, but that's simply because of the couple extra kills we got on this side. They've got all the caps and are closing in on us quickly point-wise, and our ships are isolated. So, well, we may currently hold the lead. Their lead on the caps and the fact that we've got two ships isolated against this whole slurry of ships doesn't spell good for our team. Now, in my mind, I'm trying to decide, where do I go? Where do I go to be as effective as possible? And what I decide is we need to keep ourselves in this game. And really the best way to do that is to get Bravo. And my reasoning for this is kind of twofold. One, it doesn't look like much of their team's going there. So if we capture it, they're not likely to get it back very quickly. If I went down to Charlie, they're likely to run into us face first, and then they've still got two caps, one will be contested, and we'll only be getting one. Whereas if I get up into Bravo, capture it, then we've got two, they've got two. They're no longer closing in the points on us, or, you know, the kills, they'll no longer be running away from us if they get those two kills. So that's kind of my reasoning. I tell Armored Chimera, and we both decide, okay, we're going to B. Now obviously, we're going to shoot at things when we can. Minikaze is spotted, Chimera has a shot, so he's volleying at it. And unfortunately, that works until it doesn't. And I'm still just trying to figure out where Savea and Goomba are. Because they're ships that legitimately concern them. I know their playstyle, but I know Goomba in a Nagato, he can wreck a half health Belfast if he needs to and I get spotted in range. And the same is true of Savea. So I get one of the kills done there, just a cruiser there, and you can see all that gunfire going into the unspotted friendly cruiser. He won't be long for this world either. And then I just start going to work on this Byron. Once again, the goal being light a fire or two, just trying to get some tick damage so that when I don't have the shots, he's still taking damage that's slowing him down perhaps. Unfortunately, the shells don't get any fires and now I've got no shots on anything. And this is kind of the one downside to the play to go to B, is it takes us out of the fight. Now. We do have four battleships left. They've got three, so those battleships, if driven right, can be quite effective. And these two ships here are in range, just have to find the shot. So my plan is to kind of pull up here, just ahead of this headland, and start trying to lob shells to harass Goomba and to Theris, the Byron on their team, because if we can start doing damage to them, we help our battleships win the fight. And that's kind of one of the things. You never want to be so far away from the rest of your team you can't support them. And in this case, we're definitely not. 
first volley, I get a fire. And you can see there Byron, I think, kind of making a mistake. He's turning off, which is giving his broadside to this guy, and this guy, and this guy. And they're going to make really short work of him. where the next decision has to be made. And, you know, based on my position, where I was going, the speed I had, I decide I'm going north of this island to get to Delta. I tell Armored Chimera, just go straight there, because he had the clear shot at it. And we're basically just trying to catch up now. You can see, now that they got those couple kills and they had more caps than us for the period they did, they're you know 170 or so points ahead of us and that really does hurt but we're not out of it we're capturing charlie they're contesting it in that they're preventing us from capturing it but at least they're not getting points and we are gonna get delta here and we're definitely getting this konigsberg who is all alone and unfortunately by the time I kind of wore an armored chimera and just I'm trying to tell him don't go around the corner like just don't do it I can finish this Konigsberg off unfortunately I think I'd muted myself or something it didn't get across and he pulls out a little far now I'm fortunate that we sank an enemy you know, I duck these torpedoes I'm good I'm into the cap Torpedoes direct front. But with the Konigsberg dead, Chimera comes charging out and Torpedoes direct front. it's going to be in detection range. And he is about to eat a massive shot right here. You can see the shells leave from Flying Goomba. And there's the first hit. And maybe it wasn't as big as I recall, but I kind of remember being like, oh no, that wrecks it. And initially here I thought, okay, I'll join you in the smoke. But seeing Sevea in his Indianapolis, I know, hey, 8.49 kilometers, he's got radar. I've got to start opening up. I'm not going to do me any good. I'm telling Chimera to back up, get around that edge of land there so that he doesn't take shots. And I'm just trying to erase the radar from their team. That is the sole focus of my intention. Because if he lives, Chimera spotted, and unfortunately the Colorado gets Chimera right before he managed to finish off Sevea. With him now dead though, there is one big plus. I can pop my smoke and sit in it safely. So I'm gonna do just that Start coming about, turning my ship, bringing the speed down. Just trying to find a nice place to sit and volley at the enemy team. And their Colorado definitely kind of makes a bit of a mistake here, I think. It's hard to say what was going through his head, but he very much focuses in on our couple battleships at first. And if I were him, I would have turned away there. Put extra range between you and where the gunfire is coming from. But instead he turns in. And the closer he gets to me, the easier it is for me to hit him. The more damage I'm going to stack up. And he's just driving straight at me. And I don't know the reason for this. I wish I did. But he's going to pay for it. And then I think he kind of makes his second critical mistake. He turns out and starts breaking off from his team. You can see his turrets have come around to face me. And it's just going to do him no good. He disappears. I put one ghost volley into the air. And based on his last spotted position, I know he's not in radar range yet. So I kind of just switch targets. And then he gets respotted. And I just go back to him. And... You know, I feel bad for Goomba, because had that Colorado and Shores really turned in with him, I think they could have won the fight over there. Like, you look at it, we've got a Ganesi, 
and that Farragut, you know, if they were just closer, they might have had a chance at supporting Goomba. Instead, he's going to get caught out all alone. I managed to finish this Shores off with this volley, Enemy cruiser and that ends the game. And while this time, myself and Armored Chimera may have beaten Savea and Flying Goomba, I can tell you it's been the other way just as many times. In this one, I managed 443,000 credits, 7,100 experience, just shy of 92,000 damage, and I walked away with 4 kills and 15 fires, putting some British HE to uh, good use, and it's a reason I like the Belfast. The radar and hydro and smoke help out as well. Managed to finish top of the team, Armored Chimera coming in third, but if you look on the other team, Flying Goomba and Savea number uh, one and two, and, you know, it's a lot of fun to play your friends. You know, there's a little bit of pride in it, but at the end of the day, it's kind of just a good time. And as for myself, when you look at the damage I did, well, I didn't really get to shoot either of them. Most of my damage was to other ships on their team that I questioned their choices, and even at the time, it was kind of obvious maybe they were making a bit of a mistake and well the belfast is a premium ship so i walked away with 375,000 credits and 7100 experience for this captain which is going to be pretty useful because ranked season is coming up it's going to be tier sevens assuming nothing changes and uh epicenter mode so i hope you're all ready for that i've been getting my tier seven captains ready just to make sure i am good to go and uh, ready to blitz another season of Ranked. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, thank you, Armored Chimera, Savea, Flying Goomba, for playing with me. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this, consider giving it a thumbs up or subscribing to the channel. And as always, I'm Quicksilver Slash. I'll have another one for you later.